in each and every school, especially a high school, Sibane three kids from junior, that is from one up to from three. Sibana three kids from uh, high school, that is from four and from five. Ushok Sibo teacher of us negata six per school. Sibabuta Emma question. Round one, it's ten minutes whereby they are, they are given a, a questionnaire. They answer in group. That is our elimination. They go to second round. Each and every child is given a question. For that round, they use a buzzer. Okay, it's uh, problem solving for lower primary. In this case, they are making and designing a boat that is going to carry a maximum number of passengers. So they are just given a plasticine, which is a modern clay. So this is the modern clay that they are given. So we're going to put the boat in a basin of water and make the boat to float. So the, the learners themselves are going to put the boat in water and then start to introduce the marbles one by one until you get the strongest boat that is going to carry the maximum passengers. I am here for solving the problem for lower grades. I come from Central Coast Primary School to solve the, the problem. I'm here to solve the problem with lower, for, for lower grades. See if it's going to float. Oh, it's sinking. So which means if the passengers are going to do what? They're going to drown and die. We came to solve the problem for making a boat. Uh, we were together a team. I'm here to solve a problem and we're building a boat. We're here to make a boat. Probably we're solving the problem. What makes us to design this kind of a shape? We make it because so that when we put our passengers, which means the mables inside, they could not over. No. Then nicely introduce it. Oh my god. Okay, you put your passengers. Put one. One. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Oh my god. Oh. So it took what? A lot of time to, for it to, to, to sink. Eh? But uh, it was not a very, very good boat because it carries only one passenger. Yeah. <laughs> but we can take it, so which means it's one this side for St. Teresa, and the other one is just drowned immediately, they put it, huh? which means it's safe. <laughs> Therefore, the winner in this case is St. Teresa, yeah. and number two is St. John Post. So they are just given a task whereby they are going to construct a bridge and this bridge will be able to enable any of them to cross a gap of 30 centimeters. But in this case we are going to take the passengers as masses because in a bridge what we want to see is their creativity. The learners are given different material which is the A4 cards so, so that they can be able to, to construct their bridge and then they are given eight straws. These are just general straws that they use to, to take a, 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 their drinks. And then there is a paper towel that is used. So this is the paper towel that they use. And basically this paper towel is for helping them to, to make uh, these straws more stiff or able to hang a certain mass. So which means they're going to use these screws so that they can put the paper towel inside their straws. And also they are given eight of this image stick which they are going to use to balance their bridge. And also they are given a string 
so that they can be able to fasten everything that they are using in tight. We are going to create the gap using chairs or maybe tables and then put the bridge on that gap. When we put the, the bridge on that gap, then we are going to start introducing the masses in the bridge. So the winning bridge will be the one that is going to be enabled or that is going to sustain the highest number of masses. Place 100 gram masses on your fridge. So these are these are the masses. Unfortunately, I'm having a 50 gram mass. So if you combine two 50 gram plus 50 gram, what do you have? 100. 100. So which means if you combine the two, you're going to have 100. Place it nicely there. And some of you place the masses. Okay, the competition is Hambaranje. The band has eight to ten duels. No thing to do. Kube in Zambo. Kube in Selo Tape. Kube in Sahane Kinsindi. Then the band has made a help. No ho. Le le da upona guma eskale ne singana fifty centimeters. Spring has been one by one, but it is better that you start with maybe this one, then you put the others, you start with one mass.
project ni le skati umba na adoti suge la adikta bangele njuguti woke imene la mfuna kulu manga na mfuna research anga lo kule research ya kege si expecta guti umba na ende i data form logo shoko guti each and every day la wenda ago concerning that project a record the past Besa sego bang the really project ye lapo kushoto i outline kuto ukuluma ngan. Besa sego banale gadget if ever the project in involved side la yendi le lumban. Besa ge seba seba ya nanga ni matchage elfu na kona le swa traini le akone ku ku assess la oma project alaman mana am interview we umban si. They are now going to see a project team and they are going to be because sometimes again they are going to see my parents or teachers but they are going to be a project team so they are going to be a work team I was doing a research about potato power, that how would we use potatoes to generate electrical energy. So in, when I researched I found that potatoes are mostly water and have a lot of ions dissolved in them. So when you have two electrodes, copper and zinc galvanized nail, you can, you can make electricity, electrical energy. My first test was to test how much voltage does a single potato have. So I test, test this and I found that one potato have a voltage of 0.1 voltage. So that means that potatoes don't have much elect more electrical energy that can be used to, let's say if I want to, to make an alarm clock using the potatoes as my power source. I connected the, the wire which was connected to the copper to, to the copper and to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and then I then connected the other wire to the negative terminal of the voltmeter to see if there is any electrical energy produced. And soon as I connected them, there was a deflection which shows that there is energy in the potatoes. Since potatoes have phosphoric acid in them, so what if what if I insert what if I put the potatoes in phosphoric acid so that they may absorb more acid which can be used which can be used in this, which can, which can be used and connected to produce more electrical energy. The question is, one may ask is that, how is the electrical, electrical energy produced in the potatoes? As I explained, zinc is a, more, is a more reactive metal. So the zinc, it reacts with the hydrogen. Since the zinc becomes oxidized, it reacts with the, oxid, with the hydrogen in the phosphoric acid to, to release with, and then the hydrogen acid will be reduced, will be oxidized to form hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen gas is seen by bubbles in the when when connecting the the, the when exerting the nails. So and then the copper nail, the copper nail is just for moving the current around in the second. So basically, the potatoes is not there to make to produce the the elect, the, the current. It acts as a buffer for the transfer of electrons between the zinc and the copper nail. Okay, as we've known that the rapid spread of diseases uh, due to the drastic yet permission climate change weather condition, which is known as climate change. Climate change increases the atmospheric pressure, which causes heat, heat wave prolonged drought, uh, heavy rains, and super storms. In this intense, uh, causes a stress to the so social and environmental people health, where there is a lack of clean air, um, safe water drink, and sufficient food. On this part of, on this part of, 
clean air and safe water drink and sufficient food can spread diseases whereby, which caused by a combination of, of water that may cause cholera. So, and also knowing how climate is uh, activate climate sensitive diseases such as water point diseases, air point diseases, vector point diseases. So when I'm talking about vector point diseases, I'm talking about dengue fever and yellow fever. Climate change exacerbates exacerbate the spread of diseases, like I have, I have mentioned the vector point diseases and water point diseases. Then, my, my analysis and discussion of this research was uh, this research. This, re yes, this research or result conquered me on the hypothesis which agrees the research that the information that I get from the professional purpose has agreed to my hypothesis that climate change does exhibit and spread diseases. The chair can be folded and it has a fan, an umbrella and a bulb to help if you want to use it at night. This chair can help because the temperatures have changed a lot in our country Swaziland. So people get to be hurt and get affected by skin cancer and some affected by sun and end up collapsing. This is the light when you want to use it at night. This is the fan if you want to cool yourself and you can also twist it to the direction where you are and this is the umbrella The project is cannabis sitting oil as lubricant for polyurethane condoms Cannabis sativa. Cannabis sativa is in common English, it's known as uh, Daha or Marijuana. So this is the oil from the leaves of the tree. So <coughs> the oil, it has uh, THC and CPT chemicals. These are chemical compounds that are found in the oil. And these chemical compounds have um, med medicinal benefits. Yes. Um, so what we what, what we had planned to do with the project was to get a polyurethane condom, of which my sister is going to explain about, um, and to put in this oil so that we increase the advantages or rather add onto the advantages of the condoms that are already in the market. Water-based lubricants do not last long. These condoms can last for like up to five years. That's the important part. That is the reason why we chose to use the poly polyurethane. Uh -huh. It is approximately three times higher busting pressure, higher busting pressure, and it is two Open. times. Polyurethane is the material. Okay. Cannabis sativa is the lubricant. Okay. So being water-based, it means that actually it is it is made from purified water and other ingredients. So that is what we mean with water okay. with water-based lubricant. So you have an idea of how it will look like? The femidome. Ah. In a way that it will be like a much a top ball. Instead of being big immediately when you release it from the, 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 the packaging, it, has, it, will, it will be small and then that way when you put it in, it will open up inside, inside once the inside. Inside. Penetrates. Because the size intermediates the Yes, we are having a smart car wash with recycling water 95% of it and we lose the 5% through evaporation. We've got a tank A as a water source such as a river. We've got a manual pump which pumps up the water to tank B, which is our tank where we receive the water from the water source. Then here we have a pipe which takes water from tank B to tank C. Here in tank C, then the water flows to a sprinkler system. And then the water flows to a drainage canal where there is a tube that takes the water to tank B again. Here in the drainage canal there is a crushed stone and river sand which filters the water. Okay. Here, here in tank B there is a 
electric palm connected to it. It is run by a battery which has shield bars. And the battery is charged, charged by, by a solar. So when you push this, this button, the water is going to be pumped to Tensi. Tensi is a piece of water before it gets to the stream. So the water which is going to be get here is filtered here, then it goes here. When there is remaining sludge space for some time, then the water is pumped up again, forming a side. <laughs> My Karmate. currently doing from five high school. How many kg is your bridge able to carry? Six thousand two hundred grams. And then I asked who was the genius. <laughs> we all genius who can make it, so I think everyone has that potential to do something. <laughs> I would like to thank the support that they have given us and the teachers at school to be confident with us to come here and do something. Uh, I can thank the, I can thank my parents to to allow me to come and, and participate in this special event. Also, I'd like to thank my mom for for making me to participate participate in this event. I'm grateful. I would like to thank them that they have given me a chance to. To be at school, that's why I'm here. What if you try a future project and completion of four five what do you want to I want to do nursing. I wanna be a doctor. Oh I wanna I wanna be the music engineer. You sure? Ah, yeah. <laughs> very, very confident. <laughs> <laughs>